Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a wonderful utility that you could go ahead and use to get everything that you're going to need to begin gaming on Linux. And that utility is called Libre Gaming, written by this individual right here. If we go down, we can see his announcement, his own video. I'll go ahead and pin his video in the comments below so you could watch that if you'd like to. And a link to the GitHub repository for Libre Gaming. Now this has been tested on Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and Fedora, so chances are you are going to be able to run it. Uh, there are some dependencies that's going to require Python 3, and if you want to install it through pip, you're going to need that as well. I think the package is just Python 3-pip. And if you're in Fedora, you're going to need to go ahead and enable the RPM Fusion repositories, do the DNF group update core, and then you're going to be good to go. So what does this package install? Well, it installs Steam, Wine, Game Mode, Proton, GE, Lutris, Mango, HUD, and GO, or uh, Goverlay, which is a, another awesome application. I think it was uh, uh, Linux for everybody that did a fantastic video on some of these tools. So what we're going to do is go ahead and install this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe this out of the way. Obviously, you need those dependencies. You could follow the GitHub to get those. Again, it's just Python 3 and Python 3-pip. And then once you have those, we're just going to go ahead and paste in pip3 install Libre Gaming. Now, alternatively, if you wanted to do this through cloning the actual GitHub directory, that is an option as well. But this is generally the easiest way to do it. Uh, I noticed this coming up for me because I have KDE in here. Um, I don't believe that this is necessary at all. So if you do get something like this, you go ahead and close that out. You can see it skipped the keyring and it has successfully installed the package. Now, one thing you may into, I'm going to do dash H to see if this works out of the gate, which it does. Uh, one thing you may need to do is if this gives you a, a path error or if the command doesn't work, what you got to do is you got to nano into your bash RC file. And from there, you can go ahead and paste in this line of code here, which will properly link those paths. So I go control O, enter control X. And now I could go ahead and begin using the software. We already run the help command. So this is everything that it's going to give us the option to do. We have dash A, which will install all the packages we listed previously. But if you have uh, specifics that you want, you could do dash P to install the Proton GE only. We have PU, which will update Proton GE, and dash G, which will install the gaming packages only. Now with that said, what I want to do is install absolutely everything. So I'm going to change this uh, H into an A, hit enter, type in our password, and then it's going to begin grabbing everything it needs to install everything we need to do or everything we need to game in Linux. All right, so during the installation process, it's gonna ask us a few questions, primarily if we would like to continue with the installation of some packages. This is the latest version of Proton, so yes, let's go ahead and continue with that. All right, and it is done. So now if we go ahead and close this out, we should have everything that we need. So if I open this up, scroll down our application list, and here we can see uh, just about everything. We have Steam, the Goverlay, Lutris, and Wine Tricks. Let's just go ahead and throw open Lutris real fast. And there we go. It's open. It's working just fine. You use search to find games on Lutris. So let's go Splitgate maybe. Oh, beautiful. There it is. The Splitgate installer. This works normally through Steam, but I'm just trying to demonstrate here. Uh, right here we have GOG, so I could probably run my favorite old school game, Empire Earth. Uh, if I go back to our applications, we have Steam ready to go, so I could go ahead and log into that. Overall, absolutely beautiful, easy little tool to go ahead and grab just about anything you need to begin gaming on Linux. Uh, I'd highly recommend it, and like I said, all the links will be down below. Uh, with that said, I would like to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have a couple top tier Patreons. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. With all that said, have a beautiful day, and goodbye.